Hey, I'm Crystal Wax. You're listening to MSP Sound on KFAI, and I'm so excited. I have Kristen of May with me here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh. Thank you. This is so <laughs> much fun. I feel like oh, this has been a long time in the making here. And- yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. That's awesome. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you. And I'm so excited. We're here to talk about your brand new album, Our Galaxy. Yeah. Just came out in May. May 1st. May yeah. 1st. But tell me, I mean, I have so many questions. I don't even know where to like pinpoint. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, tell us a little bit about our galaxy and kind of like how it came together and how we're here in the galaxy, in this galaxy. In this galaxy, it's ours together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been like, uh, I kind of have whiplash now that it's over. To be honest, it's been so kind of breakneck speed uh, for so long that yeah the relief is like super palpable especially now that it's been about a month since it's been out I'm just been like practicing my yoga and just like relaxation um yeah it's been a huge process more than I ever thought it would be it was like I moved here in 2020 I tried writing some things I didn't stick I had some issues happen with a job I was at where I had to like reevaluate how I spend my time (laughs) And I, I threw myself into it. I, you know, told myself I'm going to uh, do a one woman wall of sound project um, and get the equipment I need, get a rehearsal space, write the music and record a record and put it out. And, you know, um, yeah, it's crazy to actually be here. So it was like writing it in 2021, recording it in 2022 paying to get it mixed throughout 2023 because I don't just have a ton of money sitting around to just one at a time. Um, and then like just barely got it done and everything mastered to release on May 1st of 2024. And, um, you know, no physical media, but it's out and you can listen to it for free or you can buy it and keep the files or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's a huge relief. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm still digesting that relief, quite honestly. I'm sure that's quite a bit of time and effort and energy that you put into it. I mean, and it sounds amazing. It's an amazing Thank you. album. Everybody go listen, go purchase, go, go. <laughs> do the things. Um, it's out there. <laughs> it is. It's out there. I was just listening to it a couple times through before we were talking now oh, as cool, well yeah. and oh it's so great it's just Thank I don't you. I feel like you're welcome I just don't know how to even describe like what I'm listening to or how I'm feeling but it's just it's such a cool fresh sound and your guitar is it is amazing and watching you perform it's like it's so awesome. Sorry. I am now I'm digressing here. Um, no, that's great. That's I, awesome. I think you should probably be talking more than me right now. I mean, but I am gushing because I am a huge fan. And <laughs> <laughs> like you're just, you're so talented. That's- I love seeing you at the shows. No, no, I appreciate it. It was like, a, it's like a story, you know, uh, that was like a big part of it too. It was like, I want to like tell the story. It's like, trying to make an album as much of a movie as you can without any sort of visual media. Um, and like, it was like half intentional and it half kind of worked out that way as well. Like, I wish I could take all the credit, but sometimes songs just kind of happen and, and then you put them in an order that builds a narrative too. So it was, yeah, it was really artistically like the creative output aspect of it is really uh, feels fulfilling to be able to say I put out an album, but the album also is like its own story, you know, from start to finish as well. Um, That means a lot to me. You can feel it. I mean, you can feel it. And I was at, was at your album release show a couple weeks ago. Was it a couple weeks ago? Yeah. 17th. Yeah. 17th. Yeah. Quick. 
Yes. I know. <laughs> no, you're right. It feels like last week, but then it's like, was it? What? Where were we? But it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was um, just like a great night. Like that was such a great before. It was a great room. Um, were you? I guess I would talk more about that show and everything. But yeah, I thought it was. Um, how did you feel with so many people just videoing you? Like I felt like the front row. Oh everyone had their phones up there were some other yeah. crew there as well but <laughs> where I mean I feel like maybe you're not even noticing or maybe you didn't know I, it. it's like I I probably noticed it a little bit maybe not to the extent that it was um but I guess that means I'm doing something right if people want to like capture the moment and like take it with them you know uh yeah, I'll if I see a bunch of phones, I'll, I'll play into it. I mean, I love performing. Like, I'll be honest, talking about the show, like, you know, the performance is the passion. You know, like recording is great, and I was a recording engineer, and like writing is great. I love writing, but really, it's all to support like putting on a show, doing some sort of an, an experience, um, you know, and trying to make that unique. That's that truly is the passion. So. Yeah, the seventeenth was wild. I was, I was, uh, uh, had a lot of adrenaline going through me. <laughs> I probably danced and moved on that stage more than I ever have, quite honestly. So, <laughs> oh, it worked. It worked. It was everything. I mean, it was. It was just so like captivating. It was just like, I don't know. I don't know what that was. What I weird no. did, but um, I was just like such a great show I mean and I I knew it would be it was great energy you were no doubt radiating guitarness and rockness <laughs> <laughs> I mean it was really special like all the people that showed up like it it meant a lot to me to see uh not just the people who were there like not just see like that there were people there but like to see that each person that was there you know I had a close friendship with and like I had met and known um and you know gosh I mean I moved here and started writing and started playing and I feel like very embraced by like the Minneapolis and uh, St. Paul music community um and uh, most of the people there were friends I've made in the past few years you know so um yeah it was really special it meant a lot to me I cherish that memory for a while quite honestly Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And just like that, I did, I put this whole thing together. You, I mean, took a lot of time. Yeah. It's exhausting. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, Lord knows I do it because I love it. I think otherwise I would resent it with how much work it is, especially like being a one woman wall of sound is not just performing on stage alone. It's really doing everything, um, everything. So not that I'm complaining, like that's what I signed up for it and I'm here for it and I love it. But uh, yeah, sometimes you bite off more than you can chew at the same time. So it happens, it happens, but yeah, it works out. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal. It works. Let's just say it works, whether it's, yeah, it, you know, let the chips fall where they may, I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the album cover where the artwork it is so oh, sure. cool and it was cool you had it projected behind you during your album release really as you should <laughs> very appropriate yeah definitely yes. <laughs> yeah the lips and lashes has been something I've been like rolling with different like variations of it for a while and I don't know it just speaks to me you know like um I have my own like I guess like personal connection with like what that can mean but it's like these random like shapes that you make into a face like you know each individual shape by itself you're like what what is that but um you know yeah it's just something that's stuck and I haven't been able to like peel myself away from it yet so um you know one day I gotta put like uv lipstick on and uv lashes on myself and and become the logo or something you know um we'll see how it evolves i guess 
<laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, maybe I'll try it too. We could, we could yeah, and get everybody like, to do it. Yes, <laughs> that'd be so cool. Oh my gosh, your, your next shows. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll hand out little like paper masks that everybody can wear. <laughs> It'll just have the lashes and the lips and that'd be great. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's like the, the star field. I mean, when a Hubble's first images, you know, the blackest part of the sky and it zoomed in and exposed itself and whatever. And, and there were galaxies, like every single point was a galaxy. And, you know, that's like endlessly inspiring for me. Um, so I had to incorporate that into the album cover for an album called Our Galaxy. It only makes sense, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, it's very fitting. <laughs> very fitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, where can people find you next? Any upcoming shows? Yeah. Um, so the very next show is June 13th, which is a Thursday at Acadia Cafe, which is the neighbor of KFAI. It is, it is. <laughs> so just kind of worked out that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Acadia and um, ultimately, you know, my website is, you know, the best way to kind of keep updated with me, just MidwestAmericanYouth.com. Um, I try to keep it simple, but, you know, uh, listening to the music, uh, downloading or buying the music, um, seeing what the next show is or what the past shows were. Um, it's all on there. So. All right. What, what else you got cooking this year? I mean, I know we're, we're at. Gosh, who knows? <laughs> Gosh, who knows? I've had so many people be like, okay, so when's the next album? And I'm like, hold on here. Okay. Pump the brakes. I appreciate the passion, but. I don't know. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm like reflecting personally on what I want to do now is like, do I, I mean, I have songs that I've written and, um, you know, um, but I really have no idea. I'm just going to keep playing and sharing the music because, you know, uh, it's always new to somebody trying to play more uh, Midwest states, not just Minnesota. Um, uh, that's a huge goal of mine is to try to, um, uh, really just tour the Midwest as much as I can. I don't know when that'll happen, but that would be really great. Getting it on vinyl is a big goal of mine. Um, you know, maybe even like cassette at first or something. Um, I don't have any physical media yet. So, um, yeah, that's, I think that's it. Like I'm inspired and I want to write another album, uh, but I don't, I don't know. I'm also like exhausted. So I'm probably not in the best state of mind to make that decision right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't expect you to commit right now. Like I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be in court later. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a yeah. <laughs> Reference, you know, D1. <laughs> oh boy. Exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably write more and, you know, incorporate more into my live sets. And, and do something eventually uh but who knows and who knows if it'll be rock or something else or you know I have no idea <laughs> oh I love the openness here of just like it could be whatever yeah yeah, yeah. oh okay <laughs> <laughs> like that all right well May Kristen Kristen of May, uh, I like to say everything. <laughs> I'm gonna say all the names. Um, thank you yeah. so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. It's awesome. You, uh, yeah, you're a huge, huge part of this uh, local community scene. Uh, so you do a lot to help. It's really cool to be a friend and to see you around and to have you have myself on here and chatting with you. That's super cool. Oh, thank you. Well, I feel the same about you. I'm so happy you're part of the Minnesota music community and same. love seeing you, love watching you perform. And I know I can't wait to see you at the next show. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs>